All right. Hello. Oh, wait. Forgot. Forgot. Okay. And it's a Timu haul. I put my sign back here. You could see it, right? It's a Timu haul. And it's three orders that they mailed in one giant bag. So I think I got everything priced and, you know, labeled and ready to go with my demonstrations. So, um, welcome to my channel. Do the thumbs up right now while you were thinking about it. And check to see if you are still subscribed. Because, um, you know... I looked it up because people are saying that they're unsubscribed. YouTube is unsubscribing us. Why? So I decided to Google it and to see, are they really doing that? Because that's not fair. So here's what I found out. I screenshotted it so I could find it right away. Here's what they say. All right. Let me go back here. Okay. It's right here. Is there usually actually a glitch that unsubscribes you on YouTube like a bunch of YouTubers say at the start of their videos because it honestly sounds kind of suspicious. The answer is no. The actual glitch is when somebody unsubscribes, it removes two subs from the YouTubers. Oh, sorry. I pushed the wrong button. From the YouTubers what? From the YouTubers what? From the YouTubers. There's a little thing down here below that's not letting me see what it says. From the YouTubers subscriber count. So let's read that again. The actual glitch is when somebody unsubscribes, it removes two subscribers from the YouTubers subscriber count. So that's what our problem is. They subscribe and then they decided, no, I, have, I decided I don't like you. And then they unsubscribe and then that subtracts to other people. That's what one person said. Another person said, YouTube is ran by an uh, automated computer system. It is messed up and getting more messed up each day. And now add it to all the changes they are making on a daily basis. Basis, it is a wonder the whole site has not crashed. I don't know how he knows. And another person said, it's because YouTube delete some suspicious subscribers. If you fall under some of their factors that may think you are speculative subscriber, they may remove you. Okay, so now we know why. So check to see if you're still subscribed. I'll tell you a story though. All right. One time I decided a few months ago to look at all my subscribe, who I'm subscribed to and stuff. I wanted to check it out. And so I did. And here I found a ton of rap singers and all these things that I never subscribed to that. I would never want to watch those. You know, that's not my thing. And I only subscribe if I'm really, you know, feel it's worth it and that I want them to bug me or whatever. They don't bug you, but I don't just subscribe to everybody, in other words. And here, I bet there were 200. And I spent one whole day unsubscribing from all of those. I don't know how, I guess visitors, grandkids or something decided to subscribe to all of that. But, you know, some of them were not very... I didn't want to be known for having that on my subscribing list because it was like vulgar to me, if you know what an old lady means. Okay, here I thought I had everything, and I don't. All right, I, well, I just have to use something else. I um, got this, and I already tried it out because I want to see. I paid $1.61, and it is an egg omelet egg cooker that you put in the microwave. Here it is. $1.61 I paid. I will link everything below if I don't forget. One time I forgot. If I if it's not there now, check later. But it will be there, I hope. All right, here's how to use it. Add a few drops of water into the bottom of this, which I did. 
Do I need to be a little lower maybe because we want to see the table? Some YouTubers, but then you chop your head off. Ooh. Oh, I ruined it forever. Some YouTubers don't have a table and they just open it up in the air. And I'm like, put, you know, get a table there. We want to see it displayed, a little studio here. Okay, add a few drops of water into the container and place the egg liquid, egg liquid, into the container separately. To prevent the eggs from breaking during heating, be sure to poke about 10 small holes in the yolk and egg white with toothpicks. Well, since I did it in my bedroom, I didn't have toothpicks up here. I had to use my seam ripper and it worked fine. All right. And you cover it, you close the lid on it. This is my next uh, demonstration. We can't look at it, so don't look at it. All right, heating with high fire. Well, I didn't see any fire in the microwave, but I think that's what they mean. Heating with high fiber for 30 to 45 seconds or until the omelet is cooked. Use a toothpick to separate the edges of the omelet from the container and remove the omelet easily. Well, I didn't have a toothpick, so I'm gonna have to use my seam ripper again. But I did it for 50 seconds and it was not done. So I put it in for more. Okay, here's what the eggs look like. Let's see, do I have a fork? No, I gotta use my seam ripper. When you're a seamstress, you use your tools for everything. Okay, they get, let, I see if they're sticking any. Nope, they're not sticking. Oh, this would be so nice for, you know, your children instead of pancakes, because we know how pancakes are not healthy for you. Syrup and all of that. The only thing healthy with the pancake is, guess what? The eggs, if you put eggs in, if you put eggs inside the, um, what's it called? Batter. But if you buy that batter that's, uh, you just have to add water to your pancake mix. It's not very nutritious. So make eggs. And now that prices are down cheaper on eggs, we can afford them. Okay, let's see. I forgot to get my fork. Okay, I have a knife here. That'll work. Okay, just a minute, I gotta wash my knife. Pretend I'm camping. If you're camping, you accept things not as clean as in the kitchen. Have you noticed that? This has to be my plate. I washed it. It's my plate. Cause I don't have, I forgot a plate. I took all my plates down to the kitchen. Okay, here it comes out. Oh, I would put a little butter maybe in there, you know? little oil because butter would be good okay the plate is working good my plate has a seam on it okay they came out good so it's what it is two eggs one for me and one for him or two children okay i cooked them for like a minute and so okay i'm gonna cut them open and then i'm gonna let you see them okay they look good. Now see, look at if you were having a salad and you wanted hard boiled egg in it, but you didn't have a hard boiled egg, I think you could do this. Now, oh, I'm not supposed to eat when I YouTube. I'm going to tell you something, a secret. This is a, a, a hidden secret to make the best eggs in the world. My husband, this is his secret. He'll probably get mad I'm telling the secret, but he tells people, so I'm going to be the chosen one to tell you. All right. Excuse all this stuff and all this stuff. It's for the, the visual aid. So don't get mad at me and say, oh, she's so cluttered. See this? It was empty and we put it in it. We buy chicken bouillon by the gallon. Now I know, don't comment, I know chicken bouillon is salt, mostly. I know that already, but I'm healthy. I don't have to worry about it. All right, so if you put that chicken bouillon, if you're worried about salt, then don't salt it. And I don't like pepper, so I didn't pepper it. But the chicken bouillon with the egg, it makes it more 
so your egg tastes like what it's supposed to be. Mmm. I washed it beforehand. Don't worry. I'm going to eat it on my fancy plate. Guess what this is? Look at it. It's one of these things. It's fine. It can be a multi-purpose thing, a plate or a toy. Okay. The next thing I bought for $1.61. It's sharp, so they give you a guard. And here's this blue crap on here that you're supposed to peel off. Because they want it, like, to stay nice. I don't know if it's stainless steel, but it's pretty heavy. Looks like it could be at the Dollar Tree, but I've never seen it. It has multi-purposes. You can either... Do you see it? It has cutters right here. Okay. So, you can cut like this with a banana. Well, I don't think you would be able to cut very hard. And, you know, this hot dog here is not very hard. All right. It doesn't work to slice like that. I don't know if it would work. I'll eat this with my egg later. And then it shows how you can do celery, green onion, and you go like this and stab it and pull it through. Oh, I thought it would be working really good for, uh, maybe I'm trying too hard. I'm going to try just lighter, okay? Like this. Okay, I know. Let's cut this in two. Because green onions aren't that big and sturdy. Okay? And now let's do it. Oh, that's what I already did. We got to start in a new place. Okay. We want the real test. Okay, yeah. I can see it working like this on celery and stuff. So, I like it. And, but will I remember to use it in the drawer? I don't know. I want to try it on a banana, slicing a banana. I don't have any bananas. I buy them and nobody eats them, and now I have so many in my freezer for banana bread. Okay, we're done with the cooking demonstration. Okay, we're done with that now. Clean the surface, clean the kitchen. When you were in home ec in high school and junior high, that was part of your great you had to make sure you clean those kitchens perfect and you got graded on that okay i don't know why i said that this next thing was 89 cents and you know i don't know if it's supposed to be a dog toy or a baby toy or a decoration but for 89 cents what if if it's cheaper than the dollar tree then i want to buy it and try it Oh, he's kind of cute. I don't know if you had choices. But look. 89 cents. He has a scarf. Here's his hands. It could be an elephant, kind of. That nose. Gray. They could use the same fabric when they make elephants. He's cute. Okay. I'll probably give it away. Now, this was 88 cents, and it's supposed to make me young again. Let's see what it does. Retinol and collagen. Moisture. Active blend. Face cream. 5% something. Maybe retinol. And it's by Young... Come, young come. Yumpkin. I knew a lady with her last name Yonkin, but young come. I don't. That's not a very becoming word. Young come. I don't like it. All right, let's just see with my hot dog hands how it looks and smells. Oh look, they put this on it, so it was. People want to see closer up, so I'll do this. Okay. Look, my, I mean, look, my fingernail is jacked right there. The fingernail polish came off. Sorry. Oh, uh, look, they don't even fill it all. You can't see it, but it, it's only like on one side. They don't even give you. But for 88 cents, it smells really good. I like it. I wonder if you use it 
night, morning, under your makeup, or what? This is so dirty. Can't see, and then I can't see through the slime and the dirt. Who gets these things dirty all the time? I'm laying it there, and it's supposed to be a clean place. I don't know what was on it. Okay. It's uh, active blend is 5%. That's what that said. All right. There's instructions. Oh, my. After cleansing the face, take an appropriate amount in the palm of your hand. Apply it evenly along the skin texture on the face and neck. Gently massage for three to five minutes to fully absorb. Okay, I'm going to do that. I'm going to leave it right here so I don't forget after to wash my face tonight. What am I drinking? The chocolate milkshake that I made yesterday and demonstrated it. I decided to try it this morning. So that's what this is. But I made a mistake and I put it with water instead of milk. But it's fine. Okay, this is one of those, again, that could either be 68 cents or 98 cents. I think it's 68. And remember, I bought these for the grandkids, and I only got one. So I got another one. And this really is a cute little, it shocks you. And the kids think it's the funniest thing in the world, and they love it. So if you want a, to make the children love you, then get this. I got this baggie. I want to put the toys in here because then when I'm done, I will be organized already. That's for the toys. Okay. I don't know if I have that many. This is a repeat purchase of my favorite comb for, and that, you know, the handle is wonderful. For 48 cents, you can't go wrong with this. And the purple is the cheapest one. I don't care what color my comb is. So, they're not as sturdy as the Sally ones. I mean, they're still good. But I think maybe Sally's are for professional use only. This is for scrubbing the pan. And this was 89 cents. Or 68. No, it was 89. Because... It is a scraper. It's kind of like this. This is like a very hard, um, what's it called? Spatula. It will scrape your Teflon, you know, the ones you don't want to scratch. Because you can't use that other good one that's metal. So I want to keep this near and dear. And it hangs. And they had different colors. And this dandelion yellow is my worst color in the world. Because it's this color of pea. Well, this your pee would be this color if you didn't drink enough water. So that's the lesson today. If your pee is this color, go drink some water right now. Otherwise, you can order it in a different color. I need a pile for kitchen stuff. It's going to be over here. What did I buy? 28 cents. All right. Now, if you're a seamstress, these are going to be lovely. Because it snips the little strings. If you're not a seamstress for 28 cents, these are lovely just to have on hand because look, it cuts paper. It will open a letter. It will trim threads on your things you buy from China and they don't clip your threads and they're sharp. So for 28 cents, I wanted to buy more, but they wouldn't let me, I think. They cut me off and said, you reach the maximum purchase. But I'm going to go in as another person on my other account and buy some more. Because you want these by your bed, in the kitchen, by your chair, you know, everywhere. Three forty-eight. Now, if you don't haven't noticed me much, which I'm sure you haven't or don't really care, which I understand fully, and that's fine, I like to wear gray colored eyeshadow. Okay, why? Because I wear pink, it looks like I'm crying. 
if I wear brown, it looks like I have a black eye and got in the mud or something. And I mean, you do what you do and do what I do, okay? We just all do what we do, but this is what I do. Because, and my eyes are not a real color. Like, I don't know what color to put on my driver's license because they're not blue. Something fell. They're not blue. Don't worry, I'll find it later. They're not green. They're not gray. They're not any color that I can distinguish. They're not brown. None of my kids had brown eyes. I don't know what color they are. So I just go, I and you know, blue was in the 70s. If I wear green eyeshadow, I know if I wear a green shirt, it makes it look like my eyes are greener. I don't really care. Oh, but this is, oh, this is a dream for me to come true. Oh, now they say when you're old, you should not wear glittery because it makes you look older or more wrinkled or something. But I do sometimes. And I have hooded eyes. So I have to wear my eyeshadow more up here, straight across, and then put light on my lids so that it looks like I have an eyelid and not just all. And then I draw a line, fake line back here, and then I blend it all. But look at these colors. <clears throat> I love them. Look at the different grays. And we got white, because we want that. And the light colors for the eyelids. Oh, I'm gonna, and only for 348. And it's called Black Eyes Shadows. Well, there's only one black one in there. That'll be for the night out or Halloween or something. I like them. I'm going to be ordering. This smells so good and I'm hungry. I'm going to order another one of these. Because what if they run out? I need protein. 59 cents. This is a very good eyeliner. Maybe. That was like my other one. I think it's different. But... You know, some people say, I know that Mimi's life or something, She we got to put, watch her put her makeup on the other day. And she, um, I forgot what I was going to say about her. Anyway, you know, she's like me. We're not professional. I makeup put her on us. We just do what we do. But, um. Darn, I almost forgot what she, I was going to say about it. But she was putting on her um, eyeliner. Maybe I'll think of it later. I need to rewind. Eyeliner is good. You have to go back to where you were. She likes browns, see? She likes to wear browns. but And I do too. But sometimes some of those shades of brown make you look like it's mud. I'm not saying that's with her because she's a very cute lady and does her makeup well. And she has the beautiful eyelashes that she goes to get. My daughter does those eyelashes. I could have those eyelashes too. But Emily said, my daughter, she goes, do you like to rub your eyes? Yeah. Well, you can't if you have those eyelashes. I said, uh, I'll get, uh, never mind then. I don't want them. So I didn't get them. But I don't remember what I was going to say. Darn it. Okay, this. I'm anxious to use this. And I paid a lot for this. $4.48. Because I'm hoping it's good. It looks pretty fake right now. Because it's kind of shiny. But you, they say that you put... You spray that uh, spray cleaner. What's that stuff? Dry shampoo. Dry shampoo in on it. And it will make it better. So, you know, I want people to think, oh, she spent all morning braiding her hair. And it's not really a very, is it too light? I have my mirror right here. Might be too light. Oh, and it's shiny and glistening. It doesn't really match very good. Maybe when I have grays coming through. Maybe, I know, I will spray it with my hair thing that I spray my 
Should we try it right now? Okay, you guys look at this. I'm gonna go get my stuff. We're gonna try it because this will be good for all of us to know if it works. Okay. Okay, This we're just friends, right? You're in my bedroom and we're just visiting. And this is what I would do if you were here. Do you buy this? And it's supposed to, you know, when you start having white in your part. I don't know why I do. Okay. All right. Oh, that's better. So if you don't have this and you don't have dark hair and you have blonde, I don't know what you're going to do. But if you're like me, then that works. I'll do it a little better later. All right. Let it dry. Don't touch it until it dries. That was a good idea. Oh, her hair is so thick. She has all this hair here and then she still has enough for a braid. That's what they're gonna think. I bought three of these for 49 cents each. I think this is what the Alaska people use. No, I just think that it's not true. Don't quote me. All right, look at this. <sighs> Oh, what's this gooper on it? They must have oiled it. Is it stainless steel or is it going to rust? Look. Now this is going to be nice. Let's try cutting the hot dog with it. Well, I'm going to wash it first. And this is the best water spray bottle than those other kind that they're supposed to be good and they're not. Okay, I gotta wash this because I wanna eat my hot dog later. My Polish dog. Okay, let's see how it cuts. Yes, I love it. And you know, when you have little hands and stuff, this is wonderful. I might keep all three for me. But I bought them to give to Grant, my grandson Grant and Tyler. They're the age, or but Connor would like it too and so would Parker. Well, I'm going to have to order more. This fits very tight in here. Oh, I'm going the wrong way. There, it's like a puzzle. And there's a hole in it. We can put it somewhere and hang it. Okay. I like it. Okay, did I get all the one thing left? This is a repeat buy. Some people use those little cloud things and those cutters. I'm not, I'm a scissor person because I'm a seamstress. So scissors are my, I would wear them around my neck if I could. All right, this goes in here and it's a tight fit. But you know, guess what? I'm going to do it right now when I'm right here and I have everything I need because later on it will be in the kitchen and I won't have the product that I need. And I know I have it right here. I do. Don't worry, I've been doing that for years. Okay. Come on, glue. I have my glue pin over here to open this up because this happens every time with my glue. You can buy a special tool that does that. I just use a straight pin. All right, here comes. And we're going to glue this handle on here right now because I can. And this was so good. And oh, oh, squishing out. That's why this happens. All this glue around here. Oh, no, don't lose the lid. If you lose the lid, here's what you do. You push this pin in here for the lid. I'll find the lid later. It fell down under there. It's happened to me before. Can you tell? I know what to do. Okay, so you push this in here. It's going to glue. Now, when you make the Swedish pancakes that I make, or the crepes is what some people call them, you put the batter in the pan, and this smooths it out. And I bought one for me, and now I'm buying one every time for all my children because it's a family tradition that we make those, my mother's recipe, with white syrup that is the white syrup is a recipe that my mother made up because she was really poor 
and she was making pancakes or sweet pan, whatever. And she didn't have any syrup. And she goes, what shall I do? Mo necessity is the mother of invention. And so she made up this white syrup recipe. And now it's a family favorite. I'll give it to you sometime. Stay tuned. I bought more of these because they were only 85 cents. And I give them to my kids because they didn't order them. I don't mess with the Tupperware lids. Where are they? I'm not climbing up there finding them. I hate it. Or what is, this doesn't have a lid. What do I do? These. And they do, they're not sturdy because you're not going to wash them. You're not going to keep them. And if you were in a bind, you could have it for a shower cap or shoe covers or anything. I love them. 85 cents. Buy them. The next thing. I'm not happy with this purchase because I didn't realize. I thought they were going to be the size of my other things. These. I thought they would be this size. I bought another. This is the third one I bought. This is going to be for Autumn, my granddaughter. Because she has that little Ezra. She will love those for him. I thought these would be the same size as that with the divider. But now look. What are we going to eat to put in here? I know it's for sauces like hot sauce, ketchup, mayonnaise, mustard, whatever, for your dipping, your hot dog in or whatever. One, two, three, four, five for $1.70. Put that in the kitchen pile. It's fine. I love it. I just love it. Okay, and this was, um, if this was 80 cents for... Ice cubes. Do you ever put a lid on your ice cubes? I don't. But it's going to be the perfect size for your drink cups. Because, you know, like this. This can't really have a big old ice cube sometimes. What is in there? It's water, of course. Diet root beer with a little bit of cream. Try it. You'll love it. All right, so I'm liking that because I have a little freezer in my bedroom. All right, I bought another one of these because it was only $3.98. This is a gift of this. I already demonstrated it. You already know what it is. So I'm going to give that to somebody. Here's my plan for Christmas. All of this stuff that I get that I have duplicates or I don't like it, I don't want it. Why did I buy it? It's not what I wanted. At Christmas time, on Christmas Eve, where's my purple comb? Christmas Eve, I'm going to have everybody over and I'm going to have everything that I bought and want to get rid of like that and, you know, maybe these. Anyway, I'm going to have everything out on the table. And on Christmas Eve and when we have our family thing, Everybody over, and I'm going to let the oldest to the youngest, and they get to choose what the one gift off of this table. And we're going to keep doing that until everything's gone. If you don't come that night, then you're probably not going to get a present. So, that's my idea. And I'll get rid of everything. My fan, you hear it? It's so hot. It's only 35 degrees outside, but I wonder how what the temperature is outside. I will look, because yesterday I showed you what outside looks like, right? So I'm going to tell you on my weather app what the temperature is. It's just the sun is shining. With all of our windows, it just beats in here and it warms us up solar. But it is 42 today. So that's good. T tomorrow it will be 40, 38, 39, 42, 44. But at night, 27, 24, oh, 24, 25, 21, four, Saturday is going to be 14 degrees, 17 degrees. And we got snow on Wednesday and s Monday snow. So, you know, normal weather for us. This, oh, this shirt I opened yesterday. No, I didn't wash it first. But it was like three fifty, and I love it. See, and if you have the fat belly, just a minute. You already saw my front butt and everything. I don't have anything to hide. Well, I do, but okay. It hides kind of because it flows. I like that. It's not too low, 
but this feels substantial. It's not, you know, just folded over. It's double. And the sleeves, if they're perfect, but if you want them. I love this. I wish it came in other colors, but I don't know if it does. But this is that same fabric that Timu has everything. 518. And they mixed it with this other fabric. And I have some brown pants this will go cute with. I like it. And see the side has this and the cuffs. But this stuff is that stretchy kind of stuff. But I think it's cute. And I like this color maybe. Maybe. Okay, I'm keeping it. Baby clothes for my grand great granddaughter. This was five fifty nine, and they tried to fake it being smocked, but it is pretty cute, and it's a size six to nine months. Is it black or navy blue? But look, this is real embroidered on here. It's you know. My brother, the attorney, that has a different life than I do, he has his shirts, and he has them embroidered with his initials on the cuffs of his shirts and stuff. I said, Larry, I could do that for you in satin embroidery. But no, I think they have a machine that does it. But I would like it better if this stitching on here was black or navy blue, whatever this color is. I can't really tell if it's black or navy blue. But it is pretty cute for what it is. I like it. I wonder what her name is going to be. I can't even call her anything. Now this I paid more for, but it went down in price $5.24. And it is cute. Look at it. Zero to three months. It's a onesie. It says, I may be small, but I'm one big wish come true. You know, because they're only going to, they say they're only going to have two children. And so they lucky they get a girl and a boy. Oh, and these are like little pants. Autumn, don't you love it? Little pants. And it's going to be cute. <sighs> love it. All right, I already ordered one of these. I ordered it twice. And it's three something, 351. It's cute though. But now I have two of them. So this will have to be saved for another grandbaby. It'll be fine. I have I have room to store it. And they are all going to get it. All right, here's another one, and I paid um, $374. Now this, I don't know about, I like elephants, but I don't know if I like them on cl baby clothes. But I like the colors of this, and it's cute. I don't know what size it is. It looks like a little bigger size, not newborn. What does it say on here? No. It says six to eight months. I don't know. When it fits it, it fits it, right? Okay. I'll show all the baby clothes right now. Some people aren't interested. Now, this is a, it was three forty nine, and I already bought her one like this. But this one is a bigger size than the other one. The other one was newborn, and this is 9 to 12 months. So that's why I bought it, because, you know, it's bigger. Because by the time she outgrows the little one, she'll forget about it. And then that one will be nice, because they are nice fabric. And this one is 0 to 3 months. But it has snaps, which we don't like for nighttime. But... And I paid four sixty eight for it. It looks big for zero to three months, but I love it. I know Autumn will love it too. I want to hold the little baby when she's wearing this. Okay. She has her real first grandma. Autumn's mother lives in town and is the babysitter. 
for Ezra and stuff. So they don't need me to babysit much. And so I never get to see her much. Here's another zero to three months for the summer. It's cute. And it was cheap too, three fifty eight. I always think, is this a belt for around the waist or for the head? I don't know. I'll let her decide. Okay, now, this is for me. I have a blue one that I won. It was only $6.49, and I love the blue one. Now, this is different. This isn't really a sweater fabric. It is this kind of fabric which was okay, but I thought it would be like my blue sweater. But I think it's still going to be good because I love the V-neck, and this color is great for... You can wear it with blue jeans or with brown. My, bra my new brown purse, that'll be good when I wear that because Friday we have to go to the doctor for Jamie, and we have to go to the attorney, and then we have to go to the other doctor. One's the heart doctor and one's the medical doctor. But, oh, you guys, last night was horrible. I'll tell you the story. All right. It won't be horrible for you. It's just horrible for me. I'm laying in bed and, you know, he gets up a lot in the night. And sometimes I don't hear him, but sometimes I do. And so this time I heard him. And so I woke up and watched. I was just watching him and he's just sitting on the edge of the bed. And I'm thinking... Is he going to go to the bathroom? What's he doing? So I just was kind of watching him. I had my ear plug in, listening to my book. That, I was, you know, it takes me a week to get through the book because I keep falling asleep. All right. So it was a Daniel Steele one. And a man reading it. I guess it's okay, a man reading it. But is it a woman or a man in the story? I don't even remember because I fell asleep. And I just started. All right. So he's laying on the side of the bed. And I'm watching him. And then he starts to cough because, you know, COPD, congestive heart failure and everything is all, he has so much mucus going on in there. He has an inhaler. Anyway, he's sitting on the bed and he starts coughing. And all of a sudden I see him flop over like this. And then he turned and then fell off the bed onto the floor. I couldn't catch him. Luckily, there was a pillow over that he took off the bed and put it there. So put your pillows on the side of the bed in case you fall out. And so I saw him fall. And then I saw him hit his head on the table, bedside table. So I quickly, as an old woman could be fast, turn on the light and look down over the bed because I couldn't see until I got over there. And I look over and here he is laying flat on his back just out. And I'm thinking, is he dead? Oh no. Do I call the ambulance? What do I do? Cause you don't know what you're supposed to do. Now this morning I read what you do for emergencies. You do not slap him in the face. You do not pour water on him. <laughs> All these things you're not supposed to do when you find somebody passed out. But anyway, I didn't, I was still thinking, what do I do? And then he opened his eyes and I said, what are you? And he goes, what happened? Why am I down here? total pass out, does not know where he is or what he's doing, just because he tried to cough. He goes, I was on the bed and I was going to cough and now I wake up, I'm down here. So, that's, a, he keeps passing out. I don't know what's going to happen. So, we're going to the doctor and who knows what they're going to do for him. And he's wheezing, he can't if you look at the final stages of heart failure and stuff, he has everything except his legs have not been swelling because they gave him a water pill. If he didn't have that water pill, I know he would be swelling up. But what am I doing? Still shopping from T Moon, talking about this six seventy eight because it's the same fabric that I love. You wouldn't think this would be good, but it is stretchy and soft. And I got this in a 1X because of, I, all right, here's another question people ask. How, well, what size do I order? I don't know what size. How do I know what size, what size did you order? Is it true to size? We aren't going to get into, is it true to size? Because everything is different. 
And what's true to size? I don't know what that means, you know? So here's what you do. Okay, you pull something up. Get out of there. Okay, you pull something up. And you go down here. And you pick your size. Okay, what size do you want? I want the extra, extra large. And you push on it. Then down below, it says bus size, 48.9. Length, 27.4. It's right there. See it? Just push on your size that you want. And they all come up. <clears throat> Excuse me. Before you shop, go get a tape measure. I keep mine handy all the time. And you measure. This is for people who just don't know this stuff. Okay, so you measure around your bust. And you get it. Mine says 44. Wait, let me get it right here. 45. I ordered a 46 dress one time with no stretch, and it didn't fit. It was like gaposis. So I always make sure I at least get a 47, 48 inches. Now, I don't care what the waist is, because my waist is smaller. I just care about my biggest part. If your biggest part is your waist, then take that measurement and go by that. But shirts don't usually give a waist measurement. Now, your length. 27.4. That's a good length. If it's anything less than 26, it will not cover my front butt, and I'm not going to buy it because it's going to be too short on me. And a lot of them are 24 inches on your T-shirts and stuff. I don't want that. So just go by those measurements. And if you are, you know, however your measurements are, just order your measurements, whatever size that is, then that's your size. Don't say, I always wear extra large. No, you don't, maybe. You have to go by the measurements. So, I went by the measurements on this one and got, now I don't know if I'm going to like the collar, but kind of, sometimes collars are cute over jackets. And it is V. I probably ordered two of these because I liked it and it was cheap. Then I end up with two. All right, what is this one? What did I buy? Because it was cheap, four eighty six sweatshirt. They got a big tissue in that one. All right, four eighty six, and it comes with this heart. I might be dazzle it. Put some rhinestones. Ah, oh, I forgot to put on my lipstick before I started. Oh, I'm gonna have to do it all over again. I had it right here and I went to cook the egg and I forgot to put it on. You guys don't care. I know you don't. What did I drop? Hope it wasn't important. Okay. I dropped my hair root stuff. I buy this on Amazon. Walmart has it too for about $9, but Amazon had it for seven something. If you subscribed and saved, and so, it lasts me a long time, but I ordered another one on Amazon. But then they gave everybody in town new debit cards, so then it didn't work. I had to go back on there and change all that. Okay, sweatshirt. It's nice on the inside. It's kind of, it's not your regular, it's fine, but it's not your regular Hanes sweatshirt. On the inside it is, but it's not bad. I like it. And I went by my measurements. What size did I get? Whatever my measurements were. Sometimes they say 50. If it's 50, that is too much for me. I don't like it. It's, I just got an extra large because I think it said 50 inches on the size I usually wear. And I don't want that big, you know. So this will be nice with a hoodie when I rob the bank. <laughs> Kidding. All right. Okay, so that was my haul today. And um, I hope you're all well and have a good day. And really, I'm filming this on today, but it's going to be posted tomorrow. Because I have to link everything, and that takes a long time to link everything. And so I can't do that right now and get it posted tonight. So this haul, which was three orders all into one, will be on Wednesday, because today is Tuesday.
and the next day after that is Wednesday. So have a good day and enjoy life because we don't know how long it lasts.